we introduce a new approach for constructing a rigged 3D character proxy or canvas directly from a cartoon drawing and an overlaid skeleton. Currently animators manually construct proxies using 2D cartoon drawings as a visual reference and hand-rig them to suitable skeletons for articulation. We sidestep the time-consuming manual modeling and rigging steps, allowing artists to directly articulate the drawn characters and generate convincing cartoon renders and alternate views and poses. Traditional cartoon characters are well approximated by a union of generalized surfaces of revolution anchored by a skeletal structure. 2D contour drawings allow ambiguities in 3D interpretation. These are resolved by providing a 3D skeleton. Articulated character drawings also have interpart occlusions, varying contour depth, and foreshortening. We use observations from perceptual literature that hinted how viewers rely on certain visual cues when interpreting 2D line drawings in 3D. Viewers resolve occlusions by grouping together disjoint curves whose endpoints can be smoothly connected. This is called Gestalt continuity. Viewers also rely on symmetry assumptions when interpreting drawings. Since viewers are familiar with character anatomy, they envision body parts of maximal rotational symmetry around the bone axis. They also expect the drawing to be descriptive, and anticipate that the shape of the input contours persists in alternate views, particularly nearby ones. Finally, contours of the character are expected to conform to the 2D contours. Our algorithm takes a 2D contour drawing and a matching 3D skeleton as input. Without the intended skeletal structure as input, 3D interpretation of a contour drawing is ambiguous. To use our body part shape prior, we first segment the input 2D contours into individual body part outlines corresponding to 3D skeletal bones. We then use this segmentation to compute the canvas geometry. Without occlusions, the contour of a drawn character is a single closed curve, and the two dominant segmentation criteria are connectivity, then distance. In the presence of occlusions, 2D distance is not a reliable proxy for 3D distance. Occlusions result in multiple disjoint contours instead of a single one, complicating the use of topological criteria for segmentation. We overcome these challenges and compute perceptually correct segmentations by using the depth information provided by the 3D skeleton to better estimate proximity and gestalt continuity to analyze disjoint contours. We use a three-step process to model the character canvas. We first compute a 3D curve skeleton which is close to the artist-defined straight line one, but well centered with respect to the drawn contours. We construct a quad dominant mesh to represent the canvas. Finally, we compute the optimal 3D canvas geometry across the canvas, balancing rotational part symmetry with respect to the curved skeleton against contour conformity and persistence. We show the actual canvases created by the method, as well as a range of non-photorealistic renders created using the canvases from different view directions in a range of poses. Our rendered examples include significant changes in contour topology compared to the input view, which cannot be achieved purely by 2D control. Our canvases have a built-in cylindrical parameterization suitable for non-photorealistic rendering effects, which we use here for fur simulation. Here are some more results. To evaluate our segmentations, we asked viewers to hand-segment the contours on various drawings and associate each segment with bones of an overlaid 2D skeleton. Viewer segmentations are largely consistent and closely match our algorithmic segmentation. We compare the canvases created by our algorithm to ground truth canvases for given contours. Our canvases are extremely similar to the original models validating our design choices. We also compare our results to alternate view drawings created by an artist given the same input as our method. Finally, we asked artists if our algorithm's output represented the same character as the original input. They all agreed that our results faithfully capture the original input in new poses and views. Thank you for watching.